Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we are talking about a brand new announced product from EcoFlow, the Delta Pro 3. Let's get into it. So it's not even been, I don't believe, more than six months since EcoFlow announced the Delta Pro Ultra. I, I'm not doing air quotes, I'm sorry, I'm just saying Ultra. <laughs> And now they've already teased out uh, just this weekend, the Delta Pro 3. So what's going on here? What is this? Let's go over the facts and see what we can figure out. All right, if you can see, this is on the EcoFlow site, the US Delta Pro 3 portable power station. You can come here, I'll have the link. You can sign up now, get this exclusive benefits worth $3,000 and it is going to be launching here in about a week on June 24th at 7 p.m. So we'll get uh, Pacific time. So we'll get more information then, obviously. But we do have a little bit of information that we're, we're able to see even right here. So obviously the biggest thing is the form factor of the Delta Pro 3. It looks very much like the original Delta Pro. It looks practically nothing like the Delta Pro Ultra. The other thing you can see here is the extra batteries. Also, nothing like the Delta Pro batteries. Um, you can see that it is, I would presume, quite compatible with the new smart home panel system. And of course, the new smart generator, 4,000 dual fuel. All that's kind of interesting. What, what, what have we got here? Well, down here, we can talk a little bit about um, capabilities. The biggest difference I see here versus the original Delta Pro is this 240 volt. So I think they're teasing the ability to run 240 volt out of a single system. Probably something, I don't know if they'll tell us, but my guess is going to be something in like that 15 to 20 amp. Nothing crazy. Obviously, you're going to still be limited to 4,000 watts of power out of a single unit. So um, I don't know that I get super excited about that. Low... <laughs> Uh, quiet as far as uh, the, when the fans kick on it's still going to be hopefully pretty pretty quiet but you can see here under 2000 watts of output it'll be at that 30 decibels and then above that I'm sure the fans will kick in <clears throat> and then you have uh, all this fun stuff about uh, how you can charge it up we'll get into that in a second a lot of this is all puffery as you can see you know like they got them <laughs> like you do you sleep with your delta pro right next to your bed next to your children's bed um just that's how everyone would use this i'm sure and then of course freedom from refueling concerns yes you can uh, obviously charge it with solar panel which is great that's what we want um telling you how long you can run certain things this is all a bit of a guesstimate because it does depend on exactly how much power your units are drawing from your from the delta pro 3 and, um, you know, so you can go through this and say, you know, I can tell you right now that an air conditioner is not going to run for, well, okay, they're saying here with 48 kilowatts. Okay, yes, you can run an air conditioner for 21 hours. That is true. Um, so that's, but that's with three units and six batteries. Wonder what that would cost. And then you got your new smart generator 4000 dual fuel. Um, kind of a cool idea obviously a good pairing with the delta pro uh, i don't have a problem with that all right let's talk about this so the biggest thing we can glean from this is that it's got dual uh, pv charging which means it's got over here you can see two jacks one of them is a 1600 watt and one is 1000 watt um, no specs yet on the voltage but i would guess that on the 1600 watt it's 150 volts maximum on the thousand watt uh, i'm less sure probably 100 volts, but I don't know that. Um, then, of course, you can do, obviously, AC charging. We know that. That's that's pretty standard. Um, you got the smart home panel 2 uh, integration with the Xtreme connector, which can obviously do a much faster 4,000 watt charging speed. You do a gas generator for charging, EV charging, of course, alternator charger, blah, blah, blah. Yep. And then you can, looks like you can maybe pick and choose or combine different inputs in order to charge faster. I've never needed to charge quite that fast. I think um, th just the regular charging is fine for me. And then we got some great stories from people that have been testing it probably in the select beta group. 
I am not in that and I will not. Um, so I can't tell you exactly what the hands-on experience is. I can just tell you what I'm questioning as I look at this. Here's the packages you can get with an extended battery. You can get with a smart home panel. Um, and then you can get with um, an alternator charger, etc. Um, these are the different packages initially. And presumably we'll learn a lot more at the uh, official launch, more specs and, and what we can do with them, particularly price. Okay, so first thing I have to say is what is going on with EcoFlow's product lineup? This doesn't make any sense. You got the Delta Pro, the second Delta Pro is the Delta Pro Ultra, and then you have the Delta Pro 3. Um, so I guess the Ultra is the two, um, but yet the Ultra is more powerful than the three. Um, it's, it's a very mixed up lineup. If you're gonna do these, this <laughs> numbering sequence, you need to do them um, in a way that makes sense. So maybe this should have been the two and the Ultra should have just be the Ultra, right? Um, I don't think it should be the three because it, 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 you would think the three would be bigger and more powerful than the two, which is apparently the Ultra. There's still a lot we don't know about the three at this point. Obviously we need a lot more information on the cost, the specs. Does this completely replace the Delta, the existing Delta Pro? I, I kind of think so. I kind of felt even when they uh, announced the Ultra that the Delta Pro was kind of being shepherded out. I heard a lot of talk uh, that no, no, that's not the case. We're gonna still expand and improve the Delta Pro. And that honestly isn't true. They haven't done that. And now they've launched a Delta Pro 3. So almost the, f to me, this is the final nail in the coffin of the original Delta Pro, um, which I understand that it's disappointing. Obviously people who've invested in it, like myself, you know, <laughs> it doesn't feel good to know that we're using a product that is not being, um, you know, is not, not improving and growing and, and living, right? Um, but that's the way of technology. And certainly as the technology around home energy solutions is growing, that's kind of the price you pay for being an early adopter. That said, I do expect there should be some killer deals over the rest of this year for the Delta Pro and its extended batteries. In fact, I think you'll be able to find extended batteries and the Delta Pro units under $1,000 this year. Refurbished probably from EcoFlow on their eBay store, but I bet by Black Friday, we're gonna see prices dipping below 1,000 and that's a great deal. So even if it's not cutting edge and it's not the best that EcoFlow offers, that's still great value and I'm expecting that to happen this year. We'll see if I'm right. As far as this Delta Pro 3, I gotta admit, is it, I guess it's gonna depend on the price point because I'm not super impressed with it. It's basically the Delta Pro slightly better, right? Like instead of the 3600 watt output, it's 4000 watt output. Um, instead of just 120 volt single phase output, you have kind of a 240 volt output, um, which again, we don't have the full specs, but I'm guessing it's somewhere around the 15 amp, 16 amp, still limited to 4000 watts out. I don't know if that's a game changer for most people, most applications. Um, you got the compatibility with the smart home panel uh, two. Again, I just don't know what this is gonna be priced at, but unless it's just very aggressively priced, the Ultra is a much better deal, much more capable system. I don't know why you would go with this one um, versus the Ultra. Right now, just on specs, it's not making sense to me. So it would have to make sense on the economic side. And I'm not sure that EcoFlow can make it make sense. We'll see. I'm, I'm not trying to discount them, but I, I don't think they're going to price this right. But we'll see what it comes in and, and, and what does that mean, obviously, for the Delta Pro, the original. Um, is it now um, a um, retired item? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> So once we have the, the more full reveal from EgoFlow, I will of course uh, try to get another video out there with my thoughts on what we see from that. Um, but my initial thought is I'm not super excited about what I see right now, um, just because I think this product's a weird fit. It's like, a, it's like an updated Delta Pro, um, but I'm not sure that the Delta Pro is all that relevant when you have the Ultra sitting there. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe, I, I think maybe EcoFlow sees the Ultra as a, um, 
more integrated, less portable solution, which is true. It's not super portable. Um, whereas in the Delta Pro 3, they're thinking is a more portable solution, but I would argue that it's really not that portable either. It's, it's about as portable as the Delta Pro Ultra. Um, so, lots to come on this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to get it out there quickly with what little information we have. There's uh, undoubtedly more coming, so that'll be exciting to follow. And um, give me your thoughts. I'd love to know whether this, this uh, new product announcement moves the dial for you, or moves the needle for you, and that you're excited about this, or whether you think, like me, that the Delta Pro Ultra is probably a better investment for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.